Hi, this is Manishri Madhunita, co-founder and director of Thinkra Innovative Solutions Private Limited. Today, we are going to present our product, Divara Mitra. This is a solar-powered IoT-enabled floating solution meant for fish and prawn farming sector. The problem statements we are catering to are high morbidity rate in the fish and prawn stock due to inadequate feeding, improper maintenance of diesel oxygen level, and the inability to maintain the pH value of the water body within the requisite range. This is a labor intensive process resulting in low income for the fish and prawn farmers. Our solution is Divara Mitra. This is an integrated solar power operated floating solution that can cover the entire area of the water body with the help of a smart control sensor system. It helps in the uniform distribution of feed. It maintains the uniformity of digital oxygen level in the water body, along with maintaining the pH value at the design level. The USP of our solution is, it uses solar power. This is a IoT enabled integrated solution. This is a floating solution that helps in uniform feed distribution, digital oxygen level, and pH level maintenance. This reduces the dependency on labor skill set involved. And through this solution, we are looking at creating employment opportunities for the female farmers and creating investment opportunity for the female entrepreneurs. We have already done a survey with 100 numbers of fish and prawn farmers. On your left hand side, this is the image of our first prototype developed. On your right hand side, this is the MVP version that we have developed. As per the break-even analysis, current scenario tells us the revenue generation happening for a fish and prawn farmer covering an area of one hectare is 47 lakh, and the net income is almost 27 lakh. We are proposing two units of Divaramitra for one hectare of water body area. With the use of Divaramitra, we are looking at creating a 20 to 30 percent increase in revenue that is almost 57 lakh for a fish and prawn farmer, and 30 to 40% in the increase in the net income, that is at almost 39 lakh for a fish and prawn farmer. The break-even can be achieved in one harvest itself, covering two units of Divara Mitra in, used in one acre of area, a water body area. The unit price we have kept is 2.5 lakh. We have already filed for the final patent. We have already developed one prototype version, and to MVP version that has already been validated and tested. As for the competitive analysis, currently two types of aeration systems are there. With these two types of aeration systems, they are totally dependent upon diesel generator based power supply solutions. And the area of coverage through these aeration devices is very much limited. Because they are diesel generator based, uh, they are dependent upon diesel generator based power supply solution, the operational expenses has been very huge. At the same time, a big carbon footprint is created in the environment itself. Similarly, there is also available in the market is an automated feeder system that keeps on throwing feed into the water body. This is a standalone, standalone solution kept at the bank of the water plant. It also uses diesel generator based uh, digital generator based power solution as its power resource, and the area of coverage is very much limited. In the cases of both of these are both of these competitions of ours, they are very much dependent upon digital generator based solutions. Thus, the operational expenses are very huge, and the area of coverage is pretty much limited. But our solution is a solar powered floating solution that covers the entire area of the water body length and breadth wise. It comes, up, it comes with sensorless technology and IoT enabled application that helps in maintaining the pH value and the digital oxygen level of the water or digital oxygen level of the water body at the requisite range. Sales and distribution model wise, we are looking at selling our product directly to the individual farmers. We are looking at establishing distribution ship channels with the fish and prawn based FPO groups. We are also looking at just uh, establishing distribution channels with the vendors of tools and machineries being used in the aquaculture sector. And also we are looking at establishing custom hiring centers for the small and marginal farmers. This is our team, Amrita and I are the co-founders. Amrita looks after the delivery aspect. Madhu Chanda is the HR person. Gopal also assists Amrita in delivery aspect. Arnav is the IoT expertise. Soumya has been the technical person. Soumya can do that looks after the sales. And I look after the business aspect. 
Awards and grants wise, we are incubated with SDPI Bhubaneswar and received a funding support of 2.5 lakh. We have received a funding support of 25 lakh under Chunachi 2.0 NGIG scheme. We have been funded by Shakti for 5 lakh. We have been selected as the top 50 innovative ideas in the Asia region by Lemon Grant. We are also selected under MSME Hackathon Challenge for a sanction fund of 18 lakh. Future plans. The next step we are looking at is establishing a production unit, having production capacity to build 20 units per month, building market ready version of the product at least 15 units per month, establishing business agreement with at least three APOs in the first quarter itself, implementing sales strategy and launch the product in the second quarter, selling 10 units of Divara Mitra to export houses in the first month after launching the product. Funding requirement is 250 lakh towards establishing production unit, building 15 units of the market ready version of the Divara Mitra and creating the market and for the marketing and branding support. Founders utilization of the 2.5 CR. 1.45 CR would be spent after capital expenditure, 62.5 lakh after the working capital as the working capital, 37.5 lakh after the product promotion and scaling out, 5 lakh as the contingency fund. Our contribution out of which out of this would be 37.5 lakh. Thank you.